So now that we have our handle off, the next thing you want to do before you drain the oil or do anything else, we want to remove the support bushing that uh, houses the, uh, that surrounds the, um, the ram assembly. So to do that, with everything else intact, you want to just pull the ram assembly right out. It'll just come right out of the pump. We'll take a flathead screwdriver and we're going to remove the scraper seal out of the top of the pump. Throw that out, it comes in our seal kit. And there is a internal snap ring in here that holds in that bushing. So we use our large snap ring plier. Take that internal snap ring out. And then you wanna make sure there's some oil in there because we're gonna use the pressure forcing down on this ram assembly to push our bushing out. And this is really the best method of getting your bushing out of your, out of your pump. I like to drape a rag around it like this because as the parts come popping out, you may get oil splashing up as well. So you want to have safety glasses on and also kind of just drape a rag around it. So you'll want to put the ram back in and strike the top with a, a heavy hammer, rubber mallet, something like that. If you don't have a rubber mallet, you can use a sledgehammer and a block of wood. That'll also work. So it's really that easy. Striking down on it, just push this bushing right out. And this is a good way to see right underneath the bushing, you have your, your uh, packing, your U-cup there with the wide side facing down toward the pressure. You always want to have them facing that direction. And we'll reuse this bushing in good shape. Next, we'll remove the oil fill plug. Any, any plug that's um, sealed with a copper washer can be um, loosened by striking it on top with, a, with one kind of hard blow. It really helps loosen up these plugs. There we go. Now you don't have to fight with them as much to get them loose. We throw out that plug and loosen our seal kit as well. Now we can drain our oil out. This, take it back out of the vise, just pour all the old oil out. Okay. Now that the oil's out, we'll flip the unit back over and work on the bottom side. So the, the pump cylinder is held in place by a, another large snap ring in the base here. So we'll remove that snap ring using those large snap ring pliers once again. And then now we'll disassemble the, the valve assembly. Similar to what we did with the other plug, we'll just give it one strike right on top. And I'll use Reinforce wrench, get that loose. Take that plug off. Directly under the plug is going to be a small spring. And then exposes our valve housing. We'll remove that using a pin punch once again. Give it one hard strike taking the flathead screwdriver, and now that should just, typically will just spin right out. This one's a little bit of trouble. So I'll use my secret tool here, valve housing tool. Typically you don't need these for tearing down the unit, but in this case it's coming in handy. It works really well for rebuilding. And now the valve will just spin right out.
sticking up on the threads just a little bit. Now you have your valve housing with a small ball inside it. It's kind of stuck in there. That comes in the seal kit as well. And some smaller valve components will fall out as we flip the unit back over. So when we flip the unit back over, sometimes the cylinder will just fall right out of the bottom. Other times you have to strike it to pop to get it out. So we'll be prepared for both. Holding that in there a little bit. tap on the pump piston and the cylinder should come right out of the bottom. Just like that. So you have your pump piston, washer, and spring assembly comes right out of the bottom. We'll take our flathead screwdriver, pull out the wiper seal that was around the pump piston, use a small pin punch to punch out the roll pin that's holding the actuating axle from rotating over. So once we pop that little roll pin out, now the pin will be free to rotate over. Once the pin rotates over like that, now we can pull out the piston. Now the release piston will come out. Like that. Usually the spring stays attached to the end. This particular time it fell off inside there, so we'll get that out in a moment. Now the actuating pin can slide out. Sometimes you have to tap them out a little bit, gently. And we'll reuse these two parts. Release pin and the actuating pin. And we'll grab that spring out. spring that fell off the release pin. Now your pump is completely disassembled, ready to rinse out, flush out all the contaminants and debris. You'll want to clean out this area in here. You see all the, the grime and dirt. Clean all that up before you, um, before you rebuild it and start installing any seals.